Um, I grew up rodeoing. My, I guess it kind of stems back to my um, my grandpa, my dad. Um, my dad still is a rodeo judge and stuff. He got his pro card. Um, and my brother kind of got into it uh, probably late middle school, early high school. Um, just started doing small events and stuff and then um, went to college and was down. He actually went down to uh, he went to college at Oklahoma State. We won't talk about that too much. That's kind of a... Um, quote unquote poor life decision but you know that's fine um yeah so he went down to Oklahoma State and, and did that and uh, was able to get around more of the rodeo side and then he just kind of you know worked the ladder and stuff but yeah he's, I'm pretty proud of him yeah how cool was that for him to announce you I had no idea so it was a very very surprising to me and that was uh, that was pretty cool though. yeah the offense looks extremely confident from drive one. Do you guys come in that confident? I think so, yeah. I mean, I think we, the biggest thing is we're just going out there and just playing free, and I think you, you could see that. Um, so I think that's what I'm most proud of. And um, as far as whole offense, offensive line, um, quarterback, running backs, wide receivers, everybody was just just playing free. I mean, that's a, playing for each other and playing free. That's the biggest thing. Describe your last game in the bill. Uh, electric, yeah. Um, it was pretty exciting. Um, you know, you know, big time to go out for the big time win. Um, scored a lot of points. Um, that was a big thing. I mean, as an offensive line, we were just talking about it. Just, just go out there and just score as many times as we want, so we can celebrate. You know, so um, that was that was pretty fun. We saw Coach Riley on the sideline. Yeah. Uh, you know, and Coach mentioned that it brought a little bit more electricity after yeah. drives. What did you see from that perspective? I mean, it, I've been here long enough to know that, or been here long enough to where um, Riles has always been on the sideline until this year for me. Um, but it was kind of like old times having him back down there on the field with us today. So, um, yeah, he, he lit a fire underneath us when we needed it. Um, gave us great coaching as always. And uh, he went to work this week. I mean, he, he did some good stuff for us this week. This so this is maybe you guys have played for a while? Um, probably, yeah, I would say so. Um, I think just everybody just had it in their mind that we were going out there and we were um, playing for each other and just playing free. Trey had a, another really impressive game mm -hmm. at, at wide receiver. What has he done to earn that role, and what's next for him? Um, I think the biggest thing is just, I mean, he's just slowly um, earned trust, and I mean, he's really um, picking the game up really well. He's a big body, tall. Um, obviously, you can see that he can go up and get the ball. Um, what I'm more proud of him um, is how he blocks. You know, maybe that kind of people won't see that, but he's, he blocks really well. Um, and I tell the wide receivers all the time, you know, no block, no rot. So um, that, I think that can give them a little bit of motivation, you know, that if they can get some blocks done, then we're going to start opening it up and throwing it to them. Seven you know? yards of carry for the running backs tonight. Mm. That's pretty special. That's pretty big time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's good to get the run game going especially against a, a good defense. Um, you know, I give credit to them. They play hard. They, I, don't, I don't think they ever quit. Um, we were just able just to um, kind of crease some of those. But, um, yeah, very phys physical defense and, yeah, good team. I asked Avery about, you know, 